Hello, hello, welcome to the new video. If you weren't aware, and if you didn't know this, how didn't you know this? Where have you been? Where have you been hiding? We've recently fallen into quite a big K-pop sized hole. Yep, that K-hole took the shape of shiny Lucifer, transforming into Monster X Hero, and more recently BTS, which has got us planning a trip to South Korea, making BTS reaction videos. Oh, and guess what? Reading conspiracy theories. Dun dun. Before we get into this video, make sure you press the subscribe button and the bell that appears next to it. That's super important because we're going to fight with you in the comments about this theory. So late last night, I was thinking, what theory do I want to make a video on? What theory has piqued my interest? This one is creepy and this is a trigger warning, does talk about death. Ooh. Did BTS have an eighth, eighth member? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh. Before we jump into this, I want to make it clear, this video is just for entertainment purposes. We are not slandering or attacking BTS in any shape or form, but this theory is a conspiracy. You don't need to say conspiracy like that every time. This whole thing for me started when I read a post on Tumblr. I've got the post here and it's by Park Jismin. It reads, Guys, I'm creeping myself out because recently I keep having this really strong sense that someone is missing every time I look at a picture of BTS. And one time there was this Doctor Who episode, bear with me, it gets a bit strange here. When you died, your whole existence was completely eradicated from all of time, like you were never born. But if you really feel strongly enough about them, you can remember that something's off and my dumb brain is making me think there was an eighth member of BTS that died and was forgotten, but I'm remembering glimpses and can feel his presence. Absence. Absence. Now, you might assume this is just one person's creative imagination, but no, we did some digging, and it turns out this isn't the only post mentioning this mysterious eighth member. In fact, there are many posts explaining that there's this presence that's missing, that feels like there is someone there, but they've, they've never been there. Have you ever felt that something's not quite right? Have you ever felt that Maybe there's someone missing. There was a whole hashtag trending on Twitter and it gave birth to some funny memes. There are countless people mentioning this mysterious eighth member. So the thread itself I don't really pay much heed to. It's interesting, but there's no evidence there. There was one post at the bottom though, and it reads, when you look at some of their photos, or most of them, there always seems to be an empty space that your brain wants to fill in somehow. I wanted to bring up this image. It was taken at Big Hit HQ, their label, and there are eight people in it. Now, is this real or fake? Regardless, this is the only time this person is seen pictured with BTS. And this is before they debut as mainstream artists. Jimin, J-Hope, V, Suga, RM, Jungkook, and someone else. If theories are right, this is Supreme Boy. Supreme Boy is an in-house producer at Big Hit. He's also worked on several singles with J-Hope and RM. And Suga. And Suga. We'll talk about Supreme Boy a little bit later on. For now, let's focus on the gaps in photos. Keep that in the back of your mind. In your back pocket. Back pocket. There seems to be a loose theme in some photos of BTS, especially in their concept of space. A space left next to a member or between members. Especially this specific photo from their Spring Day release. This is the one example I found where it really stands out to me. As you can see, RM is touching the edge of the bus stop. He can't move over anymore. Now, if we go all the way to the other end, Jin is sitting with a very clear space to his right. If they wanted to pursue symmetry in this image, it'd be pretty simple. This just could be an oversight on the photographer's part, or it could have another meaning. Here are a few more examples of this mystery space between members. It's like they haven't gotten quite used to having seven members. What are your thoughts on this mystery space? It could just be a mistake, but the sheer quantity of images with spaces 
either to the left or right of a person, is questionable. Could this space be left symbolically for their fans? What do you think? Let's take another look at Supreme Boy. What happened? Prior to BTS's debut, Supreme Boy was in training with the rest of the idols. He was apparently supposed to debut with the band, but he didn't for some reason. I'm about to butcher some Korean here, but Supreme Boy is part of the rap collective known as Dae Nam Hyuk. This rap collective also has members Marvel J, Eleven, DJ Snatch, Supreme Boy, Kim 2, Samson, Ellipse, Iron, Kido, and RM. That's right, RM, the same RM that is in BTS. RM is actually still part of this underground collective of rappers. So could it be that the gaps in these photos, especially around their debut, were there deliberately because the eighth member hadn't been found or chosen yet? You may or may not know that it's incredibly common for K-pop groups to go through several lineup changes before they debut. Here are a few examples of some of the members that were contending for a place in BTS. Suwon, who is now a well-known member of Boys Republic, was trained at Big Hit to be a member of BTS for around a year before he decided against it and left. Iron, known for coming second in the third series of Show Me The Money, he too was supposed to be a founding member of BTS. Dean Zeno, now super popular in his own right, he was actually offered the opportunity to be in the band but turned it down. In an Mnet special, the members of, again, I will probably pronounce this wrong, Dae Nan Hyup didn't feel as though the idol life was for them, and so they never debuted with Bang Tang. The CEO of Big Hit said the reason they changed the group from hip hop to idol was because he really wanted Nam Joon to be able to share his music, and the only way for them to get known and debut was to form the latter, an idol group. There's a trigger warning here for death and all the circumstances surrounding it, so if you want to skip ahead, now's the time to do that. I will preface this theory with my own thoughts that I honestly feel like it's been scraped from the bottom of the barrel of conspiracy theories. To understand this theory, we're going way back and we're going to start with the I Need You music video. If we look at this music video, there are two things I want to highlight. The train yard and railway, and also the fact they're burning items. The items are all personal belongings that hold value. It's been suggested that these items are the eighth member's items, and that somehow they're trying to burn away his presence, or they're paying respect to him and highlighting these items in their video to show that he still matters. The fans of this theory also draw a parallel between the I Need You music video with the train yard and the Spring Day music video where we see Tay resting his head on a train track. The lyrics to Tay's verse in the song are How much more do I have to wait? How many more nights do I have to stay up? Until I can see you, until I can see you, until I can meet you. Fans of this theory have really reached here in my opinion. They're trying to suggest that this is to do with the death of an eighth member, and if I'm honest, the evidence is really poor. Spring Day is highlighting the loss of someone, but it's actually highlighting the terrible tragedy of the Seoul Ferry incident of 2014 in which 300 innocents lost their lives. Let's deal with the facts. First of all, there were multiple members training to become part of BTS, that never actually debuted. That's a fact. The mysterious gaps in photos might just be coincidence. It may just be our minds playing tricks on us. If you've been affected by this theory, if you think there's evidence we've missed, let us know in the comments. If you think it's entirely insane, give the video a like. Have you seen hidden messages in videos that we've missed? Hopefully we brought some value to this argument and a bit of clarity. But do let us know if we've missed anything and if you want us to do a follow-up video with some other conspiracy theories around BTS or K-pop in general. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do press thumbs up down below. Also subscribe and press the bell. We'll be in the comments debunking your crap conspiracy theories. And until next time, 
stay peachy. Ciao.